Hey you, welcome back. I am Nat from Nat's Numbers and thank you for joining me here on numerologist.com because this is your numerology forecast for this brand new month and this brand new year, January 2020. <laughs> So first, we need to cover this new year that we stepped into, so I'm going to just give you a brief overview. 2019 was a year that was all about finding and utilizing our voice, finding our joy. And now, 2020, a four universal year, is about building a solid foundation for our future and getting serious about taking action on our dreams. So what is the first magical tool that our Creator has given us to meet that end? It's the five. January is a five universal month. Kind of weird, right? The five is very, very different from the number four. The four is about taking practical action and the four is about, you know, living inside of the box and putting your hard work and your energy into something. The five is about rebelling, change, progress, taking risks. Why is this our first gift? Do you remember in November of last year, we were also in a five universal month. We've now had two fives sandwiched very close together. This is for a very particular reason. The universe is letting us know that if we want to manifest and materialize what we say we want, if we want to create a solid foundation for our future where we are thriving, where we feel stable and solid, then we're going to have to change. That is what the five is here to say. <laughs> Oftentimes, the reason why we haven't had that breakthrough yet, or the reason why we haven't developed that, that strength and fortitude to move forward is simply because there is something that needs to change. So here's January, fresh out of the gate, saying it's time to make some changes. Now. It's not necessarily new beginnings, as oftentimes we think a new year is. The five is more about there is something already in your life that is requiring your creative thinking. There's something already in your life, something that you've been putting your energy into that is requiring you to show up in a new and different way. And ultimately, that is the magic of this month. If we're willing to change and embrace this transformation of January, the universe is going to give us the gift. It's going to give us the gift of an up-leveled experience where we are receiving more. We have a new perspective on life where we are able to bust out of limitation, bust out of the confinement that we feel that we've been in and step into a improved version of our lives. So there's a couple things that you need to do. The first thing is really remind yourself and get clear on what you discovered about your joy last year. What did you discover about yourself, about your joy, about what that happy thing is that you're wanting to create? And it could be anything. It could be a certain kind of profession or job that you want to manifest. It could be a project. It could be a relationship or a physical state in your body. But there was a dominant thing that you learned is very, very important to you this past year. And if there's a couple of them, just choose the first one that comes to mind. If you focus on manifesting one thing in your life, the other things tend to follow. So once you figure out what that thing is, what is that dream, that joy that you're wanting to materialize for your future, then you get to engage now in this magical challenge in January, the January numerology challenge, where we activate this five for this incredible year of building a solid foundation for your future. So here's the experiment. Every morning when you wake up in January, Ask yourself the question, what is one different practical action that I can take for my dream today? What's one 
way that I can make a different decision today for my dream. So if you're wanting to attract a new series of clients, if you're wanting to create more customers in your business, it might be that when you wake up in the morning, you ask yourself, how can you change your routine and your daily habits? What's one small new thing that you can do in your work day that is going to move you closer to that dream? That's activating the five. It's making a change, getting outside your comfort zone, being open to new ideas and new experiences and catalyzing them. If what you're wanting to manifest is around your health and well-being, what's one different thing that you can do today, one practical action that you can take today that's different, that is a change from your normal rut to help you feed and create that new experience in your body? So if you just ask yourself this gentle question every morning, that one small thing, you are going to see the transformation occur and you're gonna bust through the blocks that have been preventing you from feeling focused, strong, and honorable for what it is that you want. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Please comment below and let me know what the first new practical thing is that you're going to try and I'll read the comments and join in as well. I can't wait to see you guys in February. Bye.